Hey guys and welcome back for another tutorial today. I'm going to be showing you how to make these really cute and easy fleece mittens. All you need is fleece and that is it. And that's what I love about this pattern. It is so not complicated. The pattern link will be in the description box below. So definitely grab that and let's get started. Okay, so once you have your pattern printed out, you're of course going to cut out the pieces. You will have to tape a few of them together just because they couldn't fit all on one piece of paper. And then you're going to choose your fleece. They have so many different prints these days. It's absolutely crazy. I am just going to use gray in this tutorial. And now I'm going to start cutting out my pieces. When you start cutting out your thumb pieces, you're going to cut down, cut one, and then you're gonna flip the pattern and cut it the opposite way. If you know the right side of your fleece, then this will be easier. But if you don't know, stretch your fleece in the direction it stretches and the way it rolls is the wrong side. Okay, so I cut out all my pieces and now I'm going to start with the hand, the palm and the finger portion. So I line up the straight edge and the thumb like so. And then we are going to sew down the straight edge and we're going to sew around the thumb, but only a little bit. We're going to sew until it basically lines up with that straight edge. And then you're going to stop and just back stitch to lock that in. And now I'm just going to snip the corners and the rounded edges just to make it easier for when I turn it and it, you know, lays nice and flat. Make sure you don't snip your thread, of course. And, and then you're going to lay the long piece on top, making sure that thumb piece is on the outside. Just going to put a few clips to make sure it stays all together. And then I will show you how to sew it. It's a little bit different, but still very easy. So I'm going to sew all the way down the one side and around the fingertips until you run into the thumb. And then I'm going to stop and I'm going to lock my stitches and then I'll flip the thumb over and then continue on. So basically when you're sewing towards the thumb, where you stopped halfway after you sewed your thumb, that's where you're going to stop the first line of stitches. And then you will take it out of the machine and then flip the thumb over and then continue on at the same spot. Because if you don't get them touching all the, you know, all the stitches together, coming and intersecting, then you're gonna have a hole there. So, and then you just finish off the other side and then fasten off. And then all you have to do is hem it. So you can test it out, see if you like the length. If you like it long, you can keep it long. If you want it a little shorter, you can, you know, hem it more. I like to hem it with it right sides out. So I'm just flipping it out. I just find it's easier to get it into the machine. And then I'm just going to fold it once. I'm not too precise. I probably did it about a half an inch. Take it over to the sewing machine and then we will use a zigzag stitch. So hoping that you made sure you cut out your pattern pieces with the stretch going from side to side. Then if you use your zigzag stitch when you go to put your gloves on and it stretches in that direction, it won't um, break your th threads. So that is, if you don't know what a zigzag stitch is for, that's what it's for. It's amazing for the stretchy fabrics so that your thread doesn't snap. And then you're finished. So I really like the way that the other ones I made turned out with the blue plaid on the palm. I think it's super cute. Um, but of course you can definitely use all the same color like I did 
for this tutorial. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, give me a thumbs up, comment down below. If you have any questions and don't forget to follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook, and definitely check out the pattern down below. It helps support my channel and I would really appreciate it. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.